Good evening ladies and gents and welcome to another one of my beer reviews and it's time to review a beer which I've had before uh, from a brewery that are very well established that have been going now for quite a long time but well, it started in 2004 and uh, they're called the Boxstein Brewery and this is one of their flagship beers actually called Funnel Blower. Uh, I haven't had it for many years, um, last time I had this was probably about 2010 so about six years ago and um, yeah, as I said, they're very well established uh, at Box Steam. Uh, they're based in Wiltshire, in a, in a place called Box, uh, which is between sort of Melcham and Bath, around about that sort of area, halfway between the two. And um, well, their beer is widely available. For example, I picked this up in Lidl's, you know, five hundred ml bottle for one pound twenty-five, which is absolute peanuts, you know. And um, it's a dark vanilla porter coming in at four point five ABV now. Last time I had this, and I don't know if they've tweaked the recipe or they've done anything with it, I really don't know, but the last time I had it they were using vanilla essence. And um, now there's a big difference between using essence and actual vanilla pod. Now, for example, uh, a beer a brewery close to me in Reading called Bingham's, a good friend of mine, Chris Bingham, uh, is the proprietor there. He does a vanilla stout. Now I know Chris uses a vanilla pod, he uses really good quality vanilla pod, and you can tell that he does because it has the vanilla taste is so pure and it's beautiful. And when I've had this in the past, um, yes, it tastes of vanilla because obviously it's got vanilla essence in it, but it doesn't taste natural. It's got a sort of a chemically sort of, it's difficult to describe, it just didn't taste right and I really thought the beer was worse for it. Um, so I saw this in Lidl's and I thought, well, I haven't had it for many, many years, so you never know. They may have tweaked the recipe, they may have started using pod instead of essence. I really don't know. Um, so. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's get it open and see what happens. Okay. Oh, lots of smoke coming off the top of that. That's really good. Okay, let's get it in the glass. So it's a 500ml bottle, so you're getting a lot of beer for your money, which is always a good thing. Here we go. Okay. Right, that's pouring with very, very little carbonation at all. Uh, coming in with, well, quarter of a finger head, if that, pretty much nothing. It's a nice colour though, it's the right colour for a porter, a good dark rich colour. Uh, let's go with the nose. Yeah. You're getting dark malts but you're also getting the, 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 the vanilla essence, uh, well aroma, I won't say essence, it might not be essence, uh, but you're getting the vanilla aroma very very strongly indeed. Mm. It smells nice, it does smell very pleasant indeed. Um, let's go in with the taste, cheers. Now the body on that is beautiful, um, it's good. It's a nice thick body, but it's not viscous, you know, because sometimes with porters and stouts, it can be a little bit gloopy, a little bit too much, but that's just right. Um, the vanilla's there, um, but again, maybe I'm nitpicking, I don't know, but I, I can tell it's essence, it's not vanilla pod. Um, Let's go in again. Yeah, it's 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 a strong vanilla flavour because sometimes you get beers that are flavoured chocolate or coffee, whatever. Sometimes the flavour is very much an aftertaste. That isn't. It's in your face. You can taste the vanilla straight away. Um, but what I'm getting is that once the vanilla goes, it's leaving a slightly gacky aftertaste because that's the essence there. It's it's a slightly chemically sort of aftertaste you're getting because it's because it's obviously essence and not pod that they're using. Um, so fir first thing you get is a vanilla and you know dark dark malts, which taste really great. Then they disperse and you're just getting a bit of a yeah, chemically sort of not so great sort of taste. Um, hasn't changed at all since I last had it. It really hasn't. It's exactly the same. Uh, Boxsteen Brewery, funnel blower. Uh, it's their dark vanilla porter. Um, it's okay, it's all right, it's not a bad beer, um, but I just can't help feeling that, you know, if they used pod instead of essence, it would be a much, much better beer. But then, pod's expensive. I know Chris Bingham spends a fortune on vanilla pod, um, and if they were to use pod, you wouldn't find that for £1.25 in Niddles. It's as simple as that. Uh, so, you know, you pay your money, you know, you get you get what you're given, you know. So for one twenty five, you can't grumble. For that, it's a good beer. You know, I'll, if I was offered that again for £1.25, I'd probably take it. If somebody on one of the uh, 
charge me four quid for it, I'd probably say no. <laughs> as simple as that. Because quite frankly, it wouldn't be worth it in my, in my, in my opinion. Um, okay, so what would I give it? Um, it's all right, you know, it's, it's okay. 4.5 ABV. Would I drink it again? Uh, yeah, for £1.25 I would. As I've already said, for four quid I wouldn't. <laughs> Cheapskate, I know. Um, so what would I give it? Funnel blower from the, steam, uh, from the box steam brewery. Well, for me, folks, it's a five. It's a five out of ten beer. Uh, so, you know, if you're in Niddles and you're after a cheap beer and uh, you see that for sale uh, over other stuff in there, uh, yeah, pick it up, you know. It's all right. For £1.25, you can't go wrong with it. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening, guys, and all the best. Cheers. Goodbye.